Hey guys, Meet Reynolds, Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. Our blizzard continues in the Sierra. Very heavy snow falling at Palisades, Tahoe. Lots of closures today and still feet of snow yet to accumulate up and down the spine of the Sierra. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning. So that storm system is the one that will eventually move all of that heavy snow and energy and jet energy into Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, and Colorado in the coming days. You can see the timeline here in my uh, bullet point. So the Wasatch will start to get some light snow this afternoon tonight, but your heaviest burst of snow will come in tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night, and then light to moderate accumulations on 3-3. Tetons, heavy snow starts up this afternoon tonight, continues into tomorrow. You're going to pick up well over a foot, maybe even close to two feet of snow out of this, this one period alone. Um, light accumulations on 3-4 and then another shot of heavy snow on 3-5. Colorado heavy snow late 3-2 into 3-3. That's going to be your big period. And then moderate accumulations 3-7, 3-8. Sierra, we're still trying to pile up that 4 to 8 feet through the morning of 3-3 above 5,000 feet. The Powder Highway in Canada, you still have roughly 4 to 12 inches of snow yet to accumulate between now and the morning of 3-4. In the Northeast, mainly rain chances until we get to about 3738 3, and then maybe the temperatures will fall enough to get some accumulation. All right, let me take you back. I want to show you water vapor satellite imagery this morning. So the whites, the blues, the greens, that's going to be your moisture aloft and here's the big trough. This is the one that's slowly moving down through the, the Sierra, it's snowing for two or three days and then it will pivot into the interior with all that energy and it will direct uh, and here it is, so there, this is the northern branch buckling down. You can see it's just absolutely nailing the Sierra with that orientation. And that's what will help to deliver some of that heavy snow accumulation to Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado in the coming days. In fact, here is that jet forecast by the end of day today. You can see basically what I was drawing right there. Into tomorrow end of day, nailing the interior through 3-3 and 3-4. Then we start to focus, refocus on some additional storm systems that get moved in on this conveyor belt. Um, branch of the jet and that will move storm systems from California and the coast all the way through the interior through about 3.8 and 3.9. Okay, let me put some moisture on all of that. So here's the forecast radar by this afternoon at 5.30. Heavy snow in the Sierra, heavy band of snow starting to set up right over the top of the Tetons and running through parts of Idaho. Right into uh, 3.2 in the morning, this is Saturday morning, that heavy band, that deep blue right over the top of the Tetons. Incredibly, uh, we're just going to see some exceptional totals out of this period over the Tetons. Heavy snow through the Sierra continuing. Then the whole thing moves into the Wasatch. And this is your heaviest period of snow right here. Afternoon 3-2 three, three, through the night of 3-2. So the morning of 3-3 three, three, and all of 3-3 three, three will be a big powder day once all of this moves through. And then that hits Colorado right there by late 3-2 into 3-3 and it's going to be snowing most of the day. Sunday will be a great powder day uh, through most of the central and northern mountains of Colorado, even the southern mountains to some degree. End of day still snowing. There's Monday, still some leftover snow. Here comes the next storm system being guided in and you can see what it does. It snows through the interior on 3-6 and probably on 3-7 as well. You can see that energy sliding down through the southern tier and that may develop into a uh, a stronger low over parts of Colorado. So we'll have to watch that possibility as it slides through. Okay, latest numbers. Today through tomorrow, big time numbers in the Sierra. We're gonna pot up probably four to five feet of accumulation. Now what you see in, in the Wasatch mainly happens tomorrow in the afternoon and night with one to maybe two feet of accumulation. A solid two feet up around Jackson Hole, close to that at Grand Targhee, and a little bit of snow starting to move into Colorado uh, late 3-2. Uh, you can see interior BC running about 3 to 6, maybe 3 to 7 inches. Second time period, 3-3 through 3-5, another 1 to 2, maybe 3 feet in the Sierra, 4 to 6 in the Wasatch, another foot in the Tetons. I mean, we're going to end up at like 3 to 4 feet of snow during this time period in the Tetons. In Colorado, basically a foot from most places, maybe a foot and a half through this time period. Look at the, the numbers through Crested Butte, Aspen, Snowmass, Vail, Summit County, all at about a foot, foot and a half during that time period. Um, and Idaho also does well. Look at that, a foot, foot and a half, almost two feet through Sun Valley. Brundage, looking good. Okay, final time period. 
Three six through three ten, you have that at least one, maybe two additional storm systems that come out of California, and then track across Utah and Colorado, and New Mexico, the Four Corners, and so potentially another six inches across the Wasatch, Tetons, and about three to eight through Colorado and also northern New Mexico. Okay, let's go to the northeast, and again, it's mainly rain in the short term. You might have some snow accumulation come 3, 6, 3, 7, 3, 8, somewhere in that time frame. If the temperatures drop enough, we could see numbers like that. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this morning mountain weather update. We'll end on the map for today and tomorrow's snow accumulation. You can see where it's biggest. We've got some great days ahead of us. And, guys, thanks again for tuning in here to this mountain weather update. Always appreciate it.